Today's episode is brought to you by Stax Records recording artist Nathaniel Rateliff and the Night Sweats. Their highly anticipated new album, Tearing at the Seams, features the anthemic single, You Worry Me, and it's out now. For tour dates and more information, please visit Nathaniel Rateliff, R-A-T-E-L-I-F-F dot com, and listen to the full album on Apple Music today. I'm assuming you know how to spell Nathaniel. Enjoy the show! Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, but Doug loves movies! Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. Wow, you guys need a director. I wonder if there are any here in this town. Coming to you once again from Esther's Follies as part of the comedy at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. We got any uh, Austin peeps in the room today? Okay, good. You guys, did did any of you not have like a badge and just came down and got in? All right. Oh, very nice. That's that's much better than previous years. Usually people are like, if there's a chance I'm not going to get in, fucking fuck it. (laughs) Yeah, they, they double swear unnecessarily. (laughs) <laughs> it's Tuesday, March 13th, 2018, and uh, I know you guys have uh, stinking badges because of the uh, South by Southwest, but uh, how, what's the name tag uh, situation like? Do we have, a, we have a few? Okay, good. We got enough. Uh, your you know, your uh, name tag for South by does not count as a badge, so don't try to... F- don't try to trick any of my guests. What's that thing you're putting down on the ground? You're putting it down already? You already gave up on it? Hang on a second, lady or weird dude. Uh, <laughs> it's a pizza box? And what's your name? Pizza? <laughs> what? Brian? What? Did you write Brian on it even? Or just, it's just a pizza box? Brian, like pizzeria, pizza Ryan. Oh, pizza Ryan. Pizzeria, pizza Ryan. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> All right, you don't have to hold it up anymore. I'm sorry I made you do that. But, oh, well, everybody put them down now. Okay. No, that's cool. No, I can't see them anyway, so they, I, I trust that there are some good ones. And uh, as you can see, we have four uh, guests that are about to come out here, and uh, they will um, they'll do their best to pick the best ones. And I understand, you're at a festival, you can't cart around a big, giant, stupid name tag all day. You're probably, you know, going to something else after this, right? (laughs) This this was your, uh, you scheduled a nap for this time in the day. Just go sleep through Doug Loves Movies. It'll be just like when I'm listening to it and I'm falling asleep at home. Uh, Doug Plugs, Doug Loves Movies is back at the Gramercy Theater on March 21st in New York City. And then we're back out in L.A. at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater on March 27th. And all of my dates and deeds and links are at DougLovesMovies.com. Yeah! Where is that? What? I, for, I forgot I didn't go back to that lady about that yelled out that she has food. What do you mean you have food? It's a very generic offer. There's plenty of foods I don't like. What? Do you like carbs? Do I like carbs? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought a box of carbs? Did you go to the carb, the, the carb cart down the street? <laughs> yeah. What is it? What do you, what do you got? We got bread. And- bread, of course. <laughs> Surprise. Burritos? Fudge. Fudge. Yeah. 
I can't, you know, burritos and fudge is like, uh, that's what we have at my home every year on Christmas. Special. You got brownies? Are they regular? <laughs> Wait till I finish the question. <laughs> wow, it's the impatient stoners over there. Are they yes, no? All right, you guys. This is going to be a fun crowd. I just know it. And, uh, and Douglas Movies is going to be back here in Austin uh, as another uh, South by Southwest offering on Friday over at the state side, state, whatever you want to call it, theater uh, on Congress. It's right by Congress. It'll be a stone's throw from Congress. I'll try not to mention politics once. In this show, I've already said one thing, and that was... I'll try not to mention politics. Now I've said it twice. The show on Friday is at uh, 5 o'clock. All right, you guys ready to get my guests out here? I think they ready. Uh, let me move over just a Move down just a tad here, give people a little bit of room. Uh, these are four good ones. They're all in town for comedy and film stuff. And uh, it's a pleasure to have them come out here. Please give it up. For Nick Thune, David Rory, Nick Rutherford, and Leonard Malton. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's meet them individually, shall we? Uh, starting with the man a couple seats down from me. Yeah, it's not in any particular order. <laughs> uh, Nick Rutherford is here, everybody. Hey, Doug. How's it going, everybody? How's it going, Austin? <laughs> Lunatics. Now, I know you've done my uh, weed program, Nick, but have you done the Doug Lowe's movies before? This is my first time, and I'm oh, a big fan, my, and I'm my terrified. Oh, my goodness. You're scared? I'm very scared. You think you're going to have a hard time in the games? I brought, I brought two of the best to go up against you here today. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> two of these three. I was yeah, making yeah, a joke that you. one of them's not <laughs> one of the best, no, and I let's, not, I, I let's not worry you. about which one it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm curious, what made you, like, how did you choose your first name? Well, you're much, much older than me, so uh, I was a big fan, and then uh, yeah. I decided to... Interesting, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, cool. Just this, the my game part's going to be confusing today, that we have two Nicks <laughs> sitting next to each other. Uh, do either of you go by a nickname ever? Yeah, my nickname <laughs> Nick. is... Nick. Yeah. <laughs> His nickname's Alfonso. <laughs> is it for reals? No. <laughs> No, this is going well, right? What's your nickname? My nickname? Yeah, do you have one? No, I do. do you have one? Not really. Do people have nicknames? I uh, mean, some people adult? call me, hey, it's, it's Super High Me, or hey, it's Doug Loves Movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have three names. Yeah, uh, no, my, I don't my get nicknames. Any of that. My it nickname used to be called is Looney Thunes. Looney Thunes? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> At one point, somebody asked me, this is in college, somebody asked me if, uh, like, well, what should your nickname be? And I said, Putter. Like, God. like a guy who put, I know, so like, don't leave it up to me. It could have been like Laser Strike or, or Big Hog or something. I was like, what about the most boring part of golf? That's what I want to be known as. That'll work for me. <laughs> That's also an expression like puttering around the house, right? Yeah, I'm always like kind of doing little things around the house. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so for the, to make... Let's not. Let's not use that one. So we're going to call uh, no, you, no, gonna call let's you not. Putter today. I, don't, I wish we would. <laughs> Honestly, wish we wouldn't. It's a big moment for me, so I wish we could... Uh, uh, yeah, All right, well let's, well, let's say hello to uh, Nick Thune, everybody. He's here. Thank you. It's good to be back. Um, what, uh, give us a nickname that you could use today. We've got to change one of your names just for a day. You just for the me, next uh, uh, hour. Call me Big Thunder. Oh, I like that. <laughs> he really stepped up. <laughs> he had that right. He, That's right actually away. what they called. Yeah, he didn't that was my name. nickname in, in uh, well, I mean, the, the name now, Indian Guides, which was like the pre-Boy Scouts. 
uh, yeah. thing. And that was my nickname because I farted a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Called me Big Thunder. <laughs> I thought you were. Just, you know what? You I know what happens. Just taller than the other. You know what kids. comes before thunder? Lightning. That's I used to pee in the corner and then fart. <laughs> <laughs> you always knew, like, if you were, you know, if, if what? However far, what's, what's however happening? far away from me what's peeing happening? in the corner that, that that I farted, you knew that's how what many you? miles away from the light. <laughs> You'd pee on the electrical outlet. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the and lightning. It's, it's really. I mean, it's scientific. Is your pee lightning because it burns stuff? Yeah. That's, well, I did have chlamydia in 98. Um, that was a good year for you. And that was just a Q-tip in the penis sort of a situation. Uh, and then... Uh, You're losing them, Big Thunder. Putter, wait, to, <laughs> The Q-tip was to get, or, to get it or to get rid of it? Which, which, that was to see if I had which it. Which point? Oh, that was the testing stage? Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, yep. <laughs> And then they were like, all right, we're just going to give you a shot in the ass. And uh, why would you have sex on a golf course in Bend, Oregon? You know, that was really what they asked Yeah, me. you got to stop puttering around. <laughs> <laughs> dip, 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 dip. I'm all right. So uh, <laughs> let's also say Can hello. I promote, do you mind if I promote my website? Oh, I'm going to go through all that stuff with oh, all you guys. Ar I was yeah. going to say Arby's.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you got that in because everybody <laughs> loves horsey sauce. <laughs> I like get like a gag reflex. I like start to throw up when I hear the words horsey sauce. David Bory is here, everybody. Hey. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, dude? Beachwood. Are we not doing the nickname thing? Okay. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool yeah. You're Beachwood? Yeah. <laughs> It kind of fits, though. Yeah. Like, say, hey, Beachwood. I see it. <laughs> hey, Beachwood. Yeah. Well, I could call you that. <laughs> works. It works. I could call you that if you want me to, but um, <laughs> uh, you don't really need a nickname because you're the only David on the panel. Tales old as time. <laughs> <laughs> Song as old as mine. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Wait, you've um, had a series of panels where you're the only David on the panel and that bums you out? I've never had another David on the panel, oh, to be honest okay. with you. You're really? lucky. All right. I'll tell you what, though, when you do have another one, it feels so good. You're well, for you, it. Big Thunder, it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Putter loves it. Uh, not, a, not a fan. <laughs> Little short. <laughs> Ooh, hang I'm loving uh, all three of these characters in a new indie film, <laughs> and I'm also I can't wait to hear the review from Mr. Leonard Maltin. I can hardly wait for the movie. How is your South by going so far? It's going great. Yeah, uh, my daughter and I did a couple of podcasts with uh, Jim Gaffigan. And with Bill Hader, it turned out great. Yeah, the and Malton on Movies podcast? That is correct. That's yeah. the one. And then we, uh, I hosted a screening of a film made by a friend of mine called uh, Ali vs. Cavett, The Tale of the Tapes, about Muhammad Ali and his relationship with the talk show host Dick Cavett, who was here and uh, is still here to tell the tale. And it's a really good film. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, checking that one out. Have you, how many films have you seen... Not Since a lot. you got here. Not Because you're busy doing podcasts with Jim well, Gaffigan and Bill right. Hader. And other stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, I've seen, I've seen cocaine. <laughs> They're doing a lot of cocaine. <laughs> and what, uh, so uh, have you seen anything else uh, I that watched, you could recommend? Yeah, uh, this morning I saw The Rider by Chloe Zhao. Okay. Which Sony, Classics, Sony Pictures Classics is releasing. It's very good. Okay. And I saw American Animals uh, Friday night, Bart Layton's film. Uh, which is really orig strikingly original. Very, very interesting film. Oh, okay. And I saw, what else? Did you see Eighth Grade? No, unfortunately. I, I wanted to see that. And I saw uh, the film by, called The Breaker Upperers by these two very funny Kiwi performers who wrote and directed it. And it's uh, executive produced by Taika Waititi. Oh, and he's and, brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. great. And, uh, and, and, it, and Jermaine Clement has a little cameo in the it's film. It's got a fun premise. They're like two girls that decide to let people hire them to ruin relationships. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. 
But they don't have those dumb accents, do they? They, they absolutely do. This movie sounds great, but no, they don't have those dumb accents, nah, do they? It's, it's, it's oh. Kiwi through and through. Okay. And they were here, and it was fun, fun to oh, see Oh, they're them. nice yeah. people? Yes, they okay, are. Okay, I take that yeah. back then. Yeah. They got great voices. Uh, I love Tika Watiti's uh, voice in that he plays that, uh, I forget that character's name, but he's a big CGI character in uh, Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. It's, what's his name? Korg. Korg? Korg. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Because he's talking so gentle all the time. He's such a... But he's this giant guy talking about dying. He's a genuinely funny guy. (laughs) Genuinely funny. Yeah, he's super great. You saw... Of course, you saw uh, We Live in the Shadows. Yes. And they're going to do a sequel to that now. Yes, they are. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that. They're making an American version of it, right? Is Is that that what it is? Yeah. They're, like, repurposing it, yeah. They're going to use... It's going to be all recycled. It's going to be all cardboard. (laughs) Um, I think it's cool what they're doing, you know? <laughs> now, Nick, you're here doing some stand-up comedy shows. I, as far as I know, wait, I who? Haven't, no, which? Yeah, are you talking to Big Thunder or yeah, Butter? Yeah, butter oh, right. sorry, sorry, BT. Would you? I was uh, gonna say Thor. Whenever I hear Thor, because my last name Thune, I always thought if my name was Thor Thune, it would be a tough life. Right. <laughs> People will just be like, I don't know if he has a lisp, or I don't know if there's a TH situation. <laughs> and when you show up and people weren't expecting you to come back right away, they'd be so Thor th- Thune. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, but you're, uh, are you in a film playing this year? I know we were both the uh, stars of Mr. Roosevelt that yes. played last year here, we're, won we're a lot of awards. All right. I mean, we are this. We're we're basically the stars of that well, movie. Well, you really are, but I'm. Uh, I steal the yeah. whole thing. No, well, well. You were was... very good in that movie, Doug. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. That's, I thought, it, that's what I was just telling him backstage. I loved it. I think that's one of the few things I've done that, that, that Leonard has seen. I've never seen anybody peel an orange like that. Yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful. I get into it. Got into it real hard, and they didn't. You know, it was low budge, so we didn't have other oranges standing by. <laughs> so I had to hold it together like it was a fresh orange every take. Just and just. Wait, 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 wait. Tear it so, apart. For that movie, I... How I, many takes were there? Hang on a second. Oh, man. I mean, you know, it was a rough morning. I remember <laughs> uh, I might have had to do that like three times. Oh, boy. They had a scene where I had to break... Like, I was making eggs. And, you know, and I, like, I was like, I want to do, like, a, a really interesting, like, one-hand egg break, drop it on the thing. Mm-hmm. And they're like... Uh, and I'm like, I YouTubed it. And they're like, yeah, don't fucking do that. Uh, <laughs> like, no, I've done a lot of work. And they're like, no, we actually probably aren't even going to use the shot. Um... You might be cut out of the movie. <laughs> it would be it's very difficult to cut you out of the movie. I think it would be a vast improvement, but it would be hard to do <laughs> because, uh, you know, you know she's, you're know, you the boyfriend. She comes back to see. You, yeah. you know what you that would change the You story. know your part in the film. I haven't read it. Um, was that your first time riding a bike in that film? <laughs> or did you, have, did you have to learn how to ride bikes for that movie? Yeah, I, well, you know, and you can look on YouTube and you figure all that stuff out. And I actually, my, I have a four-year-old. He, he taught me, um, you just stay steady. You know what I mean? And you just mm-hmm. keep pedaling. Yeah. Um, but and now with just, the electric you know, bites and, you know, because Noel had hired, you know, that whole, they had that track. So I didn't ever, ever have to ride the bike. I was just on a track. Um, and then when I fell, that was actually a stunt double. Um, and so I never actually saw a bike throughout the filming of that. So the stunt double just like, they got a tall guy and pasted a bunch of hair on him <laughs> and he fell off the bike? Yeah. Wow. They told him his name was Thor. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you don't have a movie here this time? No. Okay. No. But I do have a lot of stuff on my iPhone if anybody wants to take a look. <laughs> um, and you know, a movie I still never saw that everybody uh, that had seen it raved about it, and I still got to see it, is the Dave Built a Maze. Is that Dave what's called? Dave Made a Maze. Dave yeah. Made a Maze. Yeah. Yeah, That's, one person out people there. Should, people should watch it. It's super good. into it, yeah. It's on Hulu. Um, I'm Dave, and I did make the maze. And uh, it's, I mean, it's brilliant. The guy that made it was so, is uh, William Watterson, not, you know, not the actual Calvin and Hobbes Bill Watterson. But um, yeah, it's really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take my shirt off. I don't know. <laughs> is that how we? I don't know how to like break the silence. Take your jacket off first. 
Oh, no. Or, no, or I'm going to go, the I can do my shirt without my jacket. Without the jacket. I love it. <laughs> it's like the old bra trick. <laughs> Wait. <what? laughs> the old First, bra. you take an old bra. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nick, you, uh, I'm sorry, putter, you, uh, uh, you're in a motion picture that is playing here at the festival this year called The Unicorn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if these people have seen it or they're just, like, conditioned to clap. No. Yeah, they're just supporting that you're in a movie that sounds made up. (laughs) And uh, our friend uh, Lauren Lapkus is in it with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's me and her. We, What's the uh, short synopsis? Uh, it's basically Lauren and I are engaged, and uh, we, we decide uh, one night in Palm Springs that we maybe are very boring people and that what, maybe we can fix this if we go out and have a threesome. And then uh, we go out and try to have a threesome over a kind of a long, weird night in Palm Springs, California. Who wrote it? I wrote it, along with my good buddy Kirk Johnson and Will Elliott. And, uh, yeah, these are Austin locals right there. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited about it. It's been playing really well, and uh, we got, uh, and we just, we, like, today I just found out we made $40 million, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, we haven't made anything yet, and uh, uh, I'm kind of in trouble uh, by the WGA because of it, so. <laughs> cut that, so cut if you guys out. can Venmo Nick. Um, yeah. Uh, a new each. union, uh, that'd be great. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to try to see. It's playing a couple more times here at the festival. Yeah, right? once tomorrow at, at 3.15. Did I say this now? Is this what I... 3.15 at the Draft House on South Lamar. You guys love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, I don't know, maybe we win an audience award and we play it again. I oh, don't know. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Could pop up again. Yeah, it could pop up again. But if you do go, go, give it a good grade for the audience score. Be honest, too, though. Yeah. No, I, that's what I do. I honestly give good grades to films <laughs> made by people I know. <laughs> I honestly respect them for, for being in my world. And uh, Your integrity is just They deserve flawless, yeah. to win awards. No, I saw Mr. Roosevelt a few times last year. I didn't vote for it at all, the audience award, and it still won. Without me putting my considerable thumb on the scale. It's a heavy thumb. Oh, the heaviest. I could have, I could have voted for it three times. <laughs> uh, David Borey uh, did his podcast with uh, oh, yeah. Ian Carmel and uh, Sean Jordan, our other yeah. friends from uh, All Fantasy Everything. That wasn't official, but... What do you mean? It wasn't like... Like part of the festival. Is oh, you kind of just uh, jumped in at the. This, at this the is top. embarrassing to say now, but yeah, it was, we just like did a show. It wasn't a South by Southwest show. That's kind of like the lunch I had. Today. You're not. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> like my lunch wasn't on the festival, but it felt like it was. But South. it was on the street. Yeah. <laughs> you do anything in or around Austin in the month of March? You're you're participating in South by Southwest. <laughs> like it's all right, not, then yeah, know, we were in South by Southwest. Yeah, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Now, you guys always have something that you, uh, you draft. It's always a different random thing yeah. that you do a draft on, and you all sit around and argue about it, and, or discuss it, rather, because no, you're, all, an you're all friends. And uh, what, would, what did you do a draft on at this most recent episode here in Austin? Oh, we did cocktails, but then Whoa. we had to drink the cocktails, so then it Holy turned into shit. diarrhea pretty quick. Yeah, that... <laughs> Did you, did you record that one for uh, people to hear? The diarrhea or the cocktails? The episode about I got, diarrhea they're both cocktails. Gonna be up. They're both going to be up on iTunes. Yeah, okay. You don't want to be the person yelling that out. <laughs> you don't. You got a mom somewhere. You don't I mean, like, unless, <laughs> unless, heaven forbid, terrible timing, you're just warning us that you have it. <laughs> That would be a great, yeah, if any time you're going to have it, you have to yell it. <laughs> you can just make that a rule, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've yeah. seen, you see, you see uh, like, at jacuzzis, you'll see a sign that says, don't go in this if you've had uh, active diarrhea in the last uh, eight days. And it's like, who's, nobody's they, checking. They have to post I've never sign. actually been in a jacuzzi because of that. <laughs> That's a good reason to not, <laughs> one of many reasons to not get into a jacuzzi, but... Uh, People don't have diarrhea for eight days at a time? <laughs> 
<laughs> Some people will go 10, 15 days. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I believe it, because you're my friend, but, like, I'm going to have to do my own research. No, man, you know, you... You trust me? I kind of, until you drop these diarrhea facts, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> if you're on, like, a liquid diet, is every... Every time you go to the bathroom, is it diarrhea or is it just... No, your body's like an oven. It's baking. <laughs> it's baking poop. <laughs> what did you just yell out? Video? Yeah. That's okay. diarrhea girl if, I, if I've wants, ever heard of she's like, She's like video or it didn't happen. I feel like you came here for a real specific thing. <laughs> yeah, diarrhea video. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh, I love the comments section on the diarrhea videos. <laughs> that one was shitty. <laughs> it was pretty loose. Uh, <laughs> she would have tightened that up. <laughs> you call that diarrhea. <laughs> All right, so... Not enough TP. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's find out about the uh, prize bag, you guys. I brought some stuff. You all brought some stuff. Let's start with uh, Leonard. Uh, what do you have for us today? Well, I have a copy of my book, The 151 Best Movies You've Never Seen. <laughs> Which I, I very much uh, and have and enjoy this book because, uh, you know, I, a lot of the movies that you recommend in here I have not seen, and they are good. Well, good. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give everybody a quick example. Showgirls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else have you got? <laughs> I love how he doesn't even say anything. He doesn't even have to I've got nothing. dignify I got, that with I a got remark. Nothing. No, I got nothing. <laughs> Although, I will tell you that Showgirl star Elizabeth Berkley uh -huh. is in a Woody Allen movie, The Curse of the Jade Scorpion. Uh -huh. And they, I interviewed Woody Allen when, when he was in L.A. promoting that movie, and I said, how did you happen to cast Elizabeth Berkley in your film? She's very good in it. He said, well, I get up early in the morning, and I walk on the treadmill, and I, you know, channel surf, and I came upon this show, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> oh, God. That's how he cast her in the film. She was damn good on that show. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting that that's the way he cast her, but that's also how I masturbate. <laughs> Not going there. So. <laughs> we got the cool South Park buttons with Leonard Malton. Yeah, these and, are made uh, by my daughter, Jessie. Yeah, uh, they say Team Malton, and they're uh, awesome. And some candy. And, well, I figured, you know, I always bring a book, but I figured, you know, the junior mints are kind of a standby for movie-going enjoyment, and yeah. I thought that would be appropriate. That's perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, speaking of pepperminty things, I brought this. Oh, oh man. Merry Christmas, everybody. Now, what is the audience at home going to learn about that? Uh, <laughs> they've heard me talk and speak of these because I'm giving them out on every show this year. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so the listeners know, they know what it is. There's right. no reason. We don't have to get it's into it. It's a pretty it. vase. This is bong, man! A pretty vase. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Thune, what do you have for the prize bag? I have a patch for a movie at the festival called uh, Prospect that a guy gave to me whose uh, sister I hooked up in, uh, with in high school uh, on 6th Street yesterday. And that's really all you I You hooked have. up with her while you were in high school on 6th yeah, Street? Yeah, he was like, hey, I'm Jessica's yesterday. brother. And I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, I remember Jessica. And he's like, yeah, I have a movie here. I'm like, cool. And he's like, here's a patch. And I'm like, great. And that's what I brought today. <laughs> it's a cool patch. It's an alien. I, I would say patch. go see the movie Prospect. If you ever want to know what... Uh, what, um, what the movie's about? What movies are like. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, do you, you, what order do you yeah, think? Should they, see it, should they see it before they see Dave Made a Maze? 
I would say watch Prospect and then, <laughs> then check out Dave Made a Maze when you get home. And then maybe watch Mr. Roosevelt and do a full package. Yeah, Mr. Roosevelt's on Netflix. Uh, I've got a, uh, I went on a cruise uh, this last weekend uh, down to Mexico with, it was a train cruise. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a cruise on a train. No, it was about, it was a, it was the, a choo-choo cruise. The band, no, the band train. <laughs> what? Had a, had a cruise. Do, do you think that they tell that they're, do you think the trains, like kids think that they're in a band called Choo Choo? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but they gave us this really cool, uh, you know, drinking cup thing, like, you know, personal thermos, I guess you'd call it. And uh, I don't want it. <laughs> what do you got there, putter? <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. I, I, I went all out, and uh, I got a... Here's a, 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 a shirt from the unicorn. I'm, I'm not going to undo it. Motion uh, picture of the unicorn. Yeah, check out the unicorn. And then it's wrapped in a, with a wristband from Bloodfest, which is like this horror comedy that I have like a, a smaller role in. Oh, okay. So this is like kind of my whole career in like your hand right now. <laughs> yeah, Owen may, directed the, the Bloodfest. What's that? Owen directed Owen it. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. It's great. They're both great. And then uh, I was like, I just can't have things about me. So uh, I got, I went to a little mart that you, maybe you bought the uh, vase from? I don't know. But uh, I, I said, like, how many are in that jar? And can I take them all? And so we're going to have... What is it? It's pickles. <laughs> and... It's a big-ass jar of pickles, yeah, but Yeah, seven pickles in there. But it's, yeah, it's... How, Are you giving from, away the pickles and the juice? I would like the... I'm giving away the pickles and the juice, but I would like the jar back afterwards because I can like, get a couple bucks back if I take it to the, nice the liquor store back. down the street. Uh, and this only cost me $70, so the guy definitely knew he was okay. taking advantage of I want of one of those pickles so bad. Well, you have to win. Well, you, no, you can have one. I'll take a pickle. Yeah, have a pickle. Man. Yeah, the winner's going to be like, oh, fuck, man. Six pickles? This is bullshit. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Here we go. He's going in. You really gotta, One bite. You really got to dive in. Oh, yeah. Oh, a... pickle puss. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a good pickle. You can't spit it back in. Oh. No. No, no. Dude. I... Spit it out into the audience. That's so fucked up. I didn't bite your patch and make an ugly face. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. We're about to have two diarrhea fans in the audience. Does that not taste like a leather chair? Yeah. yeah. It's a shit pickle. I would never give that to anybody. The new Austin taste treat. The sh I'm shickle. so sorry I gave that to you. <laughs> Then my, I got fucking pickle fingers. Yeah, but what was the juice like? I feel like the juice has a lot to do with the taste of the pickle, you know? They're kind of related. It doesn't taste like a pickle. It tastes like, a, like an art department tried to make pickles. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, this will look good on camera. Cool. You're saying they're prop pickles. <laughs> Those are prop pickles yeah. for sure. <laughs> Right. Wow, I'm uh, regretting that. <laughs> I gotta call my wife. <laughs> Tell well, her I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> I brought a uh, Douglas movie shirt, and uh, and finally, David, what do you uh, what do you have for the bag? I know pickles are hard to top. But... I uh, <laughs> I bought an Esther Follies tank top out front. Uh, I got a tank top, not a tee, because it was five instead of twenty. <laughs> and uh, it's really little. It's for a small, tiny little body. Please. Or it could so, be a cool sleeve. Yes. What si I think it's a small. What size yells a large, a large man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, sir. I heard it in your voice. Wait, this was How big is dollars? it? I need to put my pickle in it. <laughs> yeah, it was five bucks. And a t-shirt that just has sleeves is $15? $15 more, yeah. Okay, so $15 is just the fabric for a, a sleeve. Something is going the on. Sleeve, oh, you should yeah. see the fur on those sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> The sleeve game is a ripoff. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> <laughs> Those motherfuckers. The racket. Yeah. Everybody knows about yeah. big sleeve. Sleeve unions got Everybody us all knows. by the balls, man. 
Oh, boy. All right. So thanks for buying that. <laughs> uh, but I guess Nick wins for most, most, spent the most money. Thank you. Putter or thunder? <laughs> Shit, I meant putter. <laughs> Classic thunder. Classic Mick, Nick mishap there. All right, Probably we already that. know what uh, Leonard's been up to uh, movie-wise here at the festival, but uh, David Borey, what was the last movie you saw? Ah, uh, what was the last? Oh, I, I watched Florida Project, Project on the plane. And I loved it. Something about little kids saying dirty words is, just takes me back. Yeah, that's, what? that's pretty entertaining. Plus, yeah. it's just, it's like, it's the most simultaneously... Uh, upsetting and also sweet movie. Like yeah, it's, it's adorable because they're kids, but they're definitely like saying like ratchet bitch. <laughs> but like they're Did also. Did you cry or kids. not cry? I didn't cry. I just related to it a lot. Like yeah, running around apartments, breaking stuff. That was like, my. Oh, whole life. I thought he was gonna say he's a ratchet bitch. <laughs> 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 I cried so hard at that movie. That, Did you really? Oh it's a yeah. beautiful film. But they yeah. live in Disneyland now. Don't cry for them. Oh, spoiler. Oh, I'm sorry. I also followed the, the lead actress on Instagram and big fan. She's awesome. I love that. I love that he thinks they live in Disneyland. Is that not how it ended? <laughs> they go to Disneyland. Yeah, you, to live. You don't get to just live there. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> in, in the sequel, it's just them hiding in the toilets every night. Yeah. <laughs> like 10 years later, they've just been living on like cotton candy. <laughs> like that rat in Charlotte's Web. Like, I think that's a good life. This is better than they had. A kid lived in Disneyland. He lived on like Tom Sawyer Island for like a full year or something. Nobody else heard about this? Yeah, uh, that I was Jason I... Siegel. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Like, he did live in Disneyland? Yeah, he lived on, he like would hide out at Tom. You have a Disneyland watch on. You've never heard about this? A no, I haven't. The kid lived on Tom Sawyer Island in Disneyland for like yeah, that might, 50 that years. That might be one of those stories. This that is they, not an urban uh, legend? This yeah. is, is this like a it, Richard Gere hamster a, thing? I read it in a book. What book? <laughs> Things I made up about Disneyland. <laughs> I, don't know I know whenever somebody Bible. dies in Disneyland, they like try to get the, uh, they don't pronounce them dead till their body's off the property. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's some chilling shit. Wingstop has Sorry, the same Leonard. policy. Ear earmuffs, <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> what was the last movie you saw, Potter? Uh, I saw Annihilation in Austin. Oh, really? You didn't actually, watch yeah. Legend of Bagger Vance again? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, had, I was reading the screenplay on my phone while I was playing, yeah. Uh, Annihilation, did you like that? I don't know yet. Right? I'm not twice. sure either. You I don't seen understand. It I've seen it twice. Know? The first time I took an edible, bad idea, and was I like, has anybody seen it? I, I like afterwards I was talking to my friends. No, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. And I was like, so did like those women get out of the prison colony? And they were like, what are you talking about? This is not what the movie's about at all. <laughs> but I truly thought it was prisoners <laughs> going like being forced to do something. No, it's not. And uh, so then I was like, I got to see this again. And I took another edible. And <laughs> again, I just wanted to be sure. Uh, so don't do that. And I kind of got through more of it and then fell asleep by the end. And I have no idea what was happening. At some, you know, at some point, like that virtual fighter from... I mean, this is a spoiler. No, not everybody understands. There was like a... You've seen it. Yeah. 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 I don't understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. And, but when I talk to people like in the less public spaces, I just go, oh, yeah, very good. What a, <laughs> what a brave film. <laughs> I say things that like I've just heard, like, it's just cool that a movie like this can exist. But, <laughs> but I'm not yeah, saying they anything. They ruined the annihilation of my childhood by putting all those women in it. <laughs> there was no annihilation. Before this one, but it's uh, it's mostly women, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that one scene. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Ghostbusters too. Yeah, it's very uh, Ghostbusters. It is. Um, all right, Big Thunder. Uh, thanks for asking, Doug. <laughs> I um, I saw the movie Upgrade actually. Uh, that's here at the festival. You saw it here. Yeah. And uh, that's the last movie I saw. I saw it right before that was the Florida Project, which I really 
when you when you when you're a parent and you there's a movie where a child is affected, it's like it tears your whole fucking world apart. And I'm a dad, which obviously, like most dads, I do have a kid. And you know, it definitely affects you. But uh, I watched. Upgrade, which is a Logan Marshall. You had Marshall. like a regular ticket to Upgrade, and then they gave you a better seat when you, uh, <laughs> yeah, when you got there. It's like weird. It was weird. It was fucking cool. And I, I was telling the director, um, who you know, I obviously was doing coke with for two days. <laughs> Afterwards, I, I said, I, I thought like it has like a lot of futuristic elements, and it's original takes on those things. Like when you see like a futuristic car the car that they used in this, I was like, wow, I've never seen that, that kind of a car, but like that, that's good, you know? Because when you see these movies that everyone's making over and over, you're like, that looks like the car from this fucking movie. That, look, you, you know? And like, well, we had the same guy. It's like, well, get a different guy then. <laughs> but I really liked it. I thought it was good. And he's like, a, he's like Tom Hardy. I mean, the guy's fucking beautiful. Um, but most things are going to be designed in the future to be based on movies that were about the future. I thought you were going to say about Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything designed in the future is based on Tom Hardy. That would be terrible. <laughs> Can I plug a movie that's in theaters? That's yes, the please. I'm touting The Death of Stalin. Yes. By Armando Iannucci. I love it. Sight unseen. That looks so good. Yeah. Great movie. A genuinely great movie. Interesting topic. And uh, that uh, Iannucci guy. Uh, Who created Veep. Created Veep. And in, had done in great the loop, shows. And he's great. In the thick of it, his British mm -hmm. TV series. I think he's kind of a genius, really. And it uh, might be. It might. There might even be an ad for that that movie in this episode of Doug Lowe's movie. Wouldn't that be convenient? Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, you know. Any breakout performances? They're all great. They're all great. And, and uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a terrific ensemble that he handpicked. And there are some British actors that I'm not familiar with. The, the guy who plays Berea, uh, Simon Russell Beale. Oh, mostly I love a, him. Yeah. a theater actor, primarily. But he is incredible in this movie, <laughs> as is Steve Buscemi, as is Jason Isaacs, as is Jeffrey Tambor, as is Michael Palin. Uh, it just goes on and on. Andrea Riseborough, they're all, uh, Patty yeah, Considine, they're you all. You can only good. get a couple women into a movie about Stalin. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything, but does, does Stalin make it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a turn. Just trying to set Len up, you know. I mean, that's this, that's what starts the plot of this movie, right? Is that Pretty much. Did Stalin dies? Yeah. yeah, and it's everybody trying to get his his uh, seat. Because yep. <laughs> he had a great chair. <laughs> I'm actually going to write a movie about how fucking bad my fingers smell right now from that <laughs> pickle jar. It's going to be. You good. know, you need to go like pump gas somewhere to get that. Uh, <laughs> to get a new smell that won't go away on your fingers instead of the pickle smell. Pickles, that's what I don't like about them. Is I, you know, I don't completely hate them, but I do, I do dislike the fact that when they're on a plate, like if they're on a plate next to your sandwich, then your bread tastes like pickle. They're really... Uh, I mean, Hannibal has really a whole insidious. joke about that. He does? Flicking pickle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, somebody's yeah. quoting it in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a good joke. Let's bring him up. Hannibal Burrs, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> One but time, no, it's good. It's it's something that's like a little thing that people use. It's salty. It's got nice, you know. That's why you do the the, the pickleback, the whiskey shot, and the pickle shot. I just wanted to say that one time on YouTube, somebody called me Hannibal Burgers. Han Hannibal what? Burgers? And it was the funniest. Hannibal thing Burgers? Yeah, it was the funniest thing. <laughs> Some cool teen roasted me. You're was still it, talking about it. Was it Anthony Jesselnick? <laughs> I think it was spelled Jizzlenick. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. One of the Jizzle Bells? Oh, yeah. yeah, I know her. <laughs> All right, turn the show off, Bert, because I'm about to say, let the games begin! I got some silly games I put together, but to determine uh, who each of you gentlemen are playing for and who's going to win the prize bag, uh, we need to, each of you to select a name tag. Uh, there's a guy with a pizza box, and then all these other ones. And um, <laughs> just go grab or have them pass forward to you whichever name tag you'd like to play for, guys. And while they do that, we'll do this. We'll be back after these words. 
Today's show is also brought to you in part by IFC Films' The Death of Stalin, a comedy of terrors from the creator of Veep and In the Loop. Steve Buscemi and Monty Python's Michael Palin lead an award-winning ensemble in this hilarious political satire. Reinterpreting the true events of Soviet secession in Moscow 1953, when tyrannical dictator Joseph Stalin drops dead and his parasitic cronies square off in a frantic power struggle to be the next Soviet leader. The one-liners fly as fast as political fortunes fall. Critics are already calling the death of Stalin a masterpiece, one of the most hilarious films of the 21st century, and the political satire we need right now. Rolling Stone calls it brilliant and reminds you that any resemblance to modern world affairs is not a coincidence. The death of Stalin in theaters now. Back to the show. <laughs> All right, we're back. Hey, Leonard, what do you got? I got putting on, putting on the knits. There's a person named Knits. Hey, don't, we can't do that side, unless yeah. Leonard loses today, and I, he, my money's on him. But, uh, and that's uh, a, a popular performer of the 20s and 30s named Harry Richman. Oh, okay. Who, uh, who I actually like. And it had, had music by Irving Berlin. Yeah, and it's like a musical, and it's directed by a man whose last name is Slow Man, <laughs> which is uh, interesting, but uh, that's, a, that's a good... Uh, Good job. <laughs> Nits. Turn it over. I'm, it, that's for if, uh, that's the consolation prize. But we, but we did get to see it. All right, uh, what do you got there, Nay, uh, Big th BT? <laughs> I've got Rapolo's uh, Pizzerian. Uh, <laughs> he really, it, there was an he N. threw an N on there. Yeah, he threw the N on the end. And then there's something inside, but I don't know if that's like technically the back, but I looked at it already. Yeah, it probably is a shithead in case you lose today. But my money's on you. I think you're the one that's going to win. I mean, since I never have, I think today would be good. Right. Go for the it. The day. Since All right. I'm a dumbass. You can toss that on the floor for now. Toss that pizza. And uh, Putter? I got a poster for Whiplash 10. Uh, that's real nice. I like to go up in the nosebleeds where the diarrhea people are. And, yeah. Uh, no, I, like you, uh, I like that. I like that. Me in the uh, Miles Teller role. I think yeah. that's good, uh, good recasting. Good yeah. They said that he had diarrhea the whole film. Yeah. Um, that's his secret. Yeah, that's why he's... Shouldn't have, shouldn't have opened up that floodgate, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, the diarrhea floodgate? Yeah, yeah. It's, Maybe, uh, no it's no longer a good callback. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, David? Uh, this says SXS Kara. It's attached to a vape pen. Oh, smart. <laughs> yeah, it's a very shoddy name tag, but there's a vape pen right there. Can yeah. we all uh, check that thing out? What is this? What, is, what does it do? Now you're addicted. Oh, it tastes like weed. Oh, really? Here, don't make Mr. Malton touch that, but I'll... Uh... That's weird. It tastes like weed. I don't know what it is. You know what? I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to... Um... I'm going to take it back to my hotel room. I'll let you know later what it is. <laughs> if you could do, do some, some sort of analysis a diagnostic... on it, yeah. Just run a test on it. That's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually going to probably know what it is. You guys are crazy. That's weed, man. <laughs> That's crack. That is crack. <laughs> We're fucked. We're all fucked oh. now. Finally, crack That's in a vapor pen Jesus so that I can Christ. do it. So I can do it surreptitiously. Honestly, yeah. And be around our friends and smoke crack. And I said I wasn't going to do crack at South by. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. This, this first game we're going to play, gentlemen, is something called Characters Welcome. Yeah. It's popular with five or six of the listeners. <laughs> I'm going to name... The characters, not the actors who play like. them, just the characters listed in the end credits of a film. Everybody can guess as often as they like, just the people on stage, of course. And uh, first person who uh, says the right movie uh, wins the game. 
Cool. You're just going to yell it out? Yeah, just yeah, I mean, you don't have to yell. You have a microphone. Okay. <laughs> just sp- sputter it out. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, the nickname wasn't successful back then, and I just shouldn't have brought it up again. Now. It was a weird move. Yeah. yeah. But don't worry, it won't stick, putter. Okay. It's... Oh, by the way, if you want to reach Nick Rutherford, it's at putter on Twitter and at putter comedy on Instagram. There is already a putter. Best way to get on to Instagram. Me. This guy who films all of his golf shots. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> what movie has all these characters in it? Uh, starting with Girl in Blue Truck. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Shit. The Girl with the Blue Truck. Oh, that's a terrific guess. Uh, okay. Party Girl. There's also a Party Girl. Uh, there's a beer delivery guy. Friday Night Lights? No, this That's is... A oh, great I guess. know what this is. That's a great guess, Friday Night Lights. But not correct. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Nick Thune says he knows what it is. But he doesn't. He's just... Did I say beer delivery guy? Just, oh, American guy? Pie. No. There's an assistant coach. Teen Wolf. <laughs> oh, uh, The Longest Yard? <laughs> Uh, you should, Nick, you should do a movie called Man Wolf. <laughs> it's about a guy, an adult who's a, were- a werewolf, and it's real easy to hide because he doesn't have to be in class all day. <laughs> <laughs> he, he works from home. He works from home. <laughs> it just works out pretty well. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a person in this movie that goes by the name Michelle, uh, Mitch, Tony... You're not supposed to participate and wrong. <laughs> Sweet 16, breakfast at. <laughs> <laughs> it's got way too many characters already for Breakfast Club. <laughs> Those are all people wandering by the window. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this next name might give window it away. Window Wanderer, that'd be a great. All right, this next name might give it away. Also, that was called Baywatch, the Baywatch movie, I think. <laughs> oh, I just watched that. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. My it's fun. You had a good time? Yeah. All right. Somebody had to. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with it? Oh, I don't know. The acting was pretty bad. It was weird. It's, it's like, like Dwayne Johnson movie. and and Zac Efron. They both have their funny moments. They're yeah. both they're not humorless I I, guys. They're not who I was but watching. But to have them as a <laughs> That's true. I wasn't watching the girls either. I was watching that one but, dude that played the comedic character. Okay. With the big penis. Right. He got his dick caught in a yeah. lounge chair. Love that. Beach chair. And Hannibal. And then there's like 20 scene. minutes of Hannibal. I just stand there going, I can't believe I'm in this goddamn movie. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely like, yeah, you could tell that he was working like, how do I act like I don't want to be in this movie, but I like the money. Yeah. Just like, yeah. oh, they're just paying me to hang out on the beach for a few days. So yeah. I'll take it, but. You know, and he was on MTV the whole time, he told me. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Doug. What? Is it Dead Man on Campus? No. Damn it. That's a great guess. That's what though. she told me. <laughs> so that doesn't even count as like a bad... Wait, people were helping you during Nick's story? I was that a story? It, so no, that it was I just me started. saying I like Baywatch. Oh, I shouldn't yeah. have. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have. That's a pretty good story, though. <laughs> Put your, best, she your was kids so to bed with that one. It. Yeah, let's, you know, we should actually option that into a book. This is the story of how much your dad loved Baywatch. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, wake up. This next one's going to give it away for a lot of people in this room. Maybe not these four on stage, but they're the only <laughs> ones. Only ones eligible to guess. <laughs> oh. Except for the whole stupid free speech thing where I guess you could... Have diarrhea. Yeah, There's a character in this movie called Wooderson. There's no, there's no character named Diarrhea. Uh, Pink. It's, it's that dumb Simone hippie movie. It's that dumb hippie Slater. movie. Slater. Days and Confused. That's it. Days and Confused. Wow. Days and Confused. Well Great done. job, Fine Putter. Day, dumbass. Well I'm so stupid. Well For a played. second, I thought Dog Day <laughs> Afternoon. Oh, because of the assistant coach? Yeah. Well, there's like there's a lot of people. There's a pizza delivery guy, and there's a girl in a truck. Yeah. Probably, probably not so many references. They're probably not a party girl. 
in the bank that's being robbed in Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> Let's play whose tagline is it anyway. Nick gets to go first, Nick Thune, uh, and then we'll go um, to Leonard and David and Putter. Always a pleasure to be around you, Doug. It's not going to stick. You know what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll bleep it every time it gets said. That'll be really fun. It's going to be a lot of work for the guy on the bleep button. but. And you have, a, you have two bleep guys or three now? We got three because of uh, the overnight shift. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say a tagline from a movie to you, uh, Big Thunder. And you just get one guess. What movie you think it is? If you get it wrong, then we move on to Leonard. What movie had the tagline, 12 years in the making? I mean, that's obvious. Yeah, so you might want to just think of something else to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was in the movie, that's no obvious. Reason, Did there's you no ever reason see that? to no. show off. Um, no, I think 12 years in the making, isn't that the... Um, I mean, it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, oh, you just can't think of what it's called. Nope, I got it right here. That's right. I'm just gonna get it you're out. You're just gonna access. I it. gotta you're gonna somehow use, figure out how to your get Google it. Google Glass. From here to here, and that's gonna be a tough process. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm gonna say. Uh, we got a time issue here. Five hundred. Five hundred. No, that's days? what I was just thinking of numbers. Summer. Five hundred. I love five hundred. Five hundred one. Five hundred two. Um, 41, 40, some. I'm sorry, we had an audience buzzer, and you know, <laughs> you know that when the audience buzzes, <laughs> that trumps all other buzzers. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was just, that was just a tick that guy had? It wasn't a buzzer at all. He's just, no, it was the burps. out over there. No. Okay. Leonard? What do you I, think it is? Uh, I never know this stuff. I, it's, it's just embarrassing. Right. Because when you a say the answer... movies answers, take a lot of years. When you, yes, but they don't often help you out. It's not it. 12 Years a Slave, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a really, really offensive tagline. <laughs> For 12 Years a Slave. 12 years in the making. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> No, I got nothing. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. It, can I, can I, can I, I'm going I'm to ask for a, for a hint type question. A what? Is it, is it, is it an epic movie? No. Oh. Okay. Is it savage? Audi audience member says no. <laughs> David, you got this. Is it Outbreak? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I am, I am positive as this. Boyhood. That's correct. Oh, oh God. Nick Rutherford, you deserve your own name. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, my He's God. He's the best. That is It was right there. It was right there. Of course it's right there. Yeah. That's why it's now we got to call you driver. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, wedge? Wedge. wedge. Short, short game? <laughs> yeah. I don't really even golf that much, so... <laughs> I he barely understand what you are talking about. <laughs> Man. All right, That's you cool. guys. It's uh, <laughs> back to Big Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because we're starting from you again. Cool. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Nick, Nick Rutherford got the point. You got it. And Big Thunder got the uh, permanent the other nickname. Nick. Permanent nickname. It's Nick and Big Thunder now. <laughs> yes. I haven't won my name yet. You haven't farted yet, so, like, <laughs> you can't tell if you're lying, you know? <laughs> the like lightning it. has to come first, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> As legend has it. <laughs> uh, lightning Piss, what is the, uh, <laughs> what is the movie that used the tagline, we don't need no education? Oh. Oh. <laughs> School Rock. That is correct. School of Rock. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> what? What? I'm just saying hey to my friends. Yeah, no, not... you did. Yeah. Say hi. And I love you too, buddy. <laughs> just saying hi to my buddy. Yeah. And you got another buddy right over here. <laughs> you don't want him there. <laughs> I like how you're keeping the vape pen attached to the name tag. <laughs> I can, I can keep. I was gonna try to steal. It. I can keep it though, right? I think that's how it works. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna give it back. <laughs> yeah. It's dark. You better win the prizes though. That that'd be nice. I'll do my best. Okay. All right. And we do have the um, Austin PD up front. Good. And they're gonna take care of him. Good. Got it. I'm going to smoke this whole thing in the back. <laughs> Dare me. And by the way, Austin Petey is our friend that we like to smoke with named Petey. <laughs> yeah, Austin Petey. Yeah, Austin yeah. Petey's outside. He's great. I don't know his whole name, but I know he lives in Austin. And it's, <laughs> oh, Petey's I love a cool anyone fucking named, dude. Anyone named Petey is a great, it's a great fucking name. It's just fun. Puts a smile on your face. All right. Uh, so we're going to start with Leonard this round. We got a couple guys out there with some uh, some points, so we might have to give them, your whole give them a tiebreaker. Uh, but we'll start with you, Leonard. Uh, one movie had the tagline: "When love can come as a complete surprise." The force. <laughs> what? <laughs> Knew he was going to say yep. that. <laughs> Called it. Saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> that one came straight down the train cruise. Choo choo. <laughs> I'm going to make a guess. I love it. Before sunrise. That is correct. Whoa. Whoa. Give him the vape. <laughs> what vape? He's hooked up to an IV. <laughs> <laughs> we got a. Three-way tie, but David, you get to go first in this next round. Here he comes. Man. Yeah. Just do it. Just say it. Just ask me. Well, we got Boyhood, School of Rock, Before Sunrise, and what is the tagline for this? What movie is this the tagline for? <laughs> Everything is better with maturity. <laughs> is it Jack? <laughs> <laughs> That, of course, is the movie where Robin Williams plays a child man. That's really funny. Uh, okay, so that was that a joke guess? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say is it Lord of the Flies? <laughs> I don't know why you have me on here. I've seen like 10 movies, All right, we're going to have to pass the conch. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> uh, what do you got there for us, Nick Rutherford? Okay, uh, something's got to give. Oh, I like where you're... I feel like we're in the same... I like what you're doing there, okay. but that is not it, no. Because it's 13 going on 30. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your joke guess? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They always had a, on Hollywood Squares, they always had a joke ants guess, you know, and then they'd say the real answer. But uh, that's incorrect. No, that was a joke, though. Okay, what's your real answer? Um, big. All right, so it's up to Leonard to, to, to take this one home. <laughs> Let me recap. We've got Boyhood, School of Rock, Before Sunrise from 1995. What do you think it is, Leonard? Before Sunset? I'm sorry, it's before midnight. Before midnight, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> it was one of the two. I didn't oh, know. Oh, damn well. it. All right, let's do one more. That was brutal. What did you say, Leonard? Before sunset? Yeah. Yeah, it was before midnight. Yeah. I skipped before sunset. I heard... Uh, I was sneaky about it. I heard a storm's about to... Coming into town. Are you going to fart into the microphone? <laughs> no, I'm going to piss over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just like, you know, other people have to use these mics, so. All right, David, you got to go first. Okay. Boyhood, School of Rock, Before Sunrise, Before Midnight. And then what is the tagline? And Leonard guessed Before Sunset. 
the tagline is, what if you had a second chance with the one that got away? Is it Jack? <laughs> uh, no, is it... <laughs> Okay, we got Boyhood, School of Rock, Before Sunrise, Before Midnight, and then let her just guess Before Sunset. What if you had a second chance with the one that got away? Diarrhea. It's not, nothing to do with it's the, big, diarrhea. the big D. I would have aced that. Uh, keep your D in your pants. People think you, I'm, you mean dick, but no. No, I thought they always talked about... Keep your diarrhea yeah. in your pants. <laughs> like, uh, it's like, I'm all about that D. <laughs> and they're always talking about diarrhea. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> what? Can you say it one more time? What time of day is it right now, if you had to say... I don't know. I can't even see colors at this point. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have... Pretty, pretty woman. woman. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Mick Rutherford, position to take it away from everybody. Before sunset. That is correct. I thought that... Oh I fell God. for it so hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn freshman. Well, you've only seen Jack, so this is a... That's what I told him! <laughs> I'm just glad that Richard Gere and Pretty Woman found a second hooker uh, <laughs> after the, one, the other one got away. <laughs> <laughs> so, is, it, is that it for that category? Yeah, we're done. So, are you going to tell people those are all directed by Austin's favorite son, Richard Linklater? Yeah, that's the. That's why the audience is laughing the whole time because they they know what's going on. Yeah. They get it. Um, yeah, he's a great filmmaker, and um, I'm actually one of his biggest influences. Really? Because <laughs> you're a slacker. <laughs> You've done the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, haven't you, Nick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that looks like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it seems cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you, you, you did it, though. Man, this guy is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell. I don't remember, man. I don't think about stuff. Do you have a, do you have a good day today? Yeah, it seemed all right. <laughs> seemed cool. Seemed like, uh, it, seemed like it was fine. People said it went well. <laughs> this guy is emotionally detached. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what feelings feel like. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I want my son to know me, but he, I don't think he does. Now it's getting sad. <laughs> he needs to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah, no one listens, you know? <sighs> What'd you say? All right. No, we're just having a good time, man. Let's go do more coke. Oh shit, David, I can't find I can't find my pen. Could you pass me a pen? I don't have one. Yeah, you do. You just gotta Is this what is this what's alright man? <laughs> we gotta do the old pen pass. Where what, we like eat. second blow? <laughs> yeah. We're old pen pass pals. <laughs> Oh, Leonard touched it. <laughs> Is that weed? Oh, I like that. I love the, I love the specialty drinks here. <laughs> Again, the audience at home right. cheated. So, cheated out of a great sight gag. Yeah, yeah. Just now. Well, that's why you got to come see the show live. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and thank you to everybody for being here. We got one more game to play, and it's something called Last Man Stanton. Uh, I'm going to name an uh, actor, actress, a very famous one with lots of credits. And. Uh, 
then we'll start with who who won that. Uh, Nick won that. Uh, Rutherford won that last game, so uh, he gets to start us. Thanks, off. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Butter. And then we'll we'll turn the order around, so we'll go to David and then Leonard and then Big Thunder. That'll help. And uh, Here comes I'm going to tell putt. you the name in a second, but keep in mind that if you can't think of a title, uh, you can go to your lifeline, which would be the Pizza Box or Whip Lashton, putting on the knits. And uh, what was what was the one on yours there, uh, David? S X S Kara. Kara. Really great job, Kara. <laughs> uh, and I hope you have a backup pen uh, in your possession. <laughs> Where'd you come in from, Kara, for, to, for South by? San Diego. San Diego, okay. Yeah. When's the last time you had diarrhea? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Wow, so I, I, I just got a great idea for a show. Group crowd work. <laughs> Where there's a bunch of comedians on stage all doing crowd work at the same time. <laughs> Not the, a bad idea. The only idea. trick is you always have to talk to one person at a time. You can't, <laughs> you can't change it to someone else until you hear a bell. And it's not, no, it's not a bell there. It's just, it's just got to be in your head. <laughs> well, okay. What is Keep. he talking about? That is good weed, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, all right, so. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I don't that think he necessarily has a film here this year, but a few years back, I saw a film that I enjoyed a lot that I, I think is underrated. I won't say the name of it, because that would be one of the answers in this game. But we're going to do, you're going to do, I'm going to stay out of it, because I already know. The films of Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, yeah. films of Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake G. So we start with Nick R., the knicker. Okay. Hey, I pronounced that very, very Is that clearly. the name you picked for yourself? <laughs> no, 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 no. The worst nickname. Is, uh, you, oh, it, gets, it, it, goes, it goes, gets worse from there. His favorite TV show is The Nick, and uh, it's just ridiculous. Oh, The Mick. It's called The Mick? No, there's another show called The Nick, right? Yeah. Oh, you racist. It's a good show. <laughs> There's a show called the. Okay, <laughs> I get it. Uh, what did you? What's your? What's your answer, Nick? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. We just start easy, Donnie Darko. Oh, that's a great one yeah. to start off with. Let's keep this going. No reason to take any chances this early. Uh, <laughs> what do you got there, David? Uh, Jarhead. Okay. Very good. Leonard Walton. Prince of Egypt. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah! That's, that's good. That's one I would have pocketed for a while if I remembered it. Hey, you know what? If Leonard Walton says it's called Prince of Egypt, <laughs> it's called Prince of Egypt. <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia just changed it. <laughs> You're like that uh, kid that sends people in the cornfield on uh, Twilight Zone. Like, if you decide a movie's called something else, they have to run out and change it. Uh, but of course he means, what did you mean to say, Leonard? What they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. I'm, I'm having a brain blip. Yeah, yeah, but Prince of? Persia. Persia. Yeah, yeah. I told, I'm not, you guys know how this works. I hope. All right. Me. BT. I'm going to go Brothers. Wasn't that a movie he was in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's weird. Like, they don't, they kind of applaud for the movies they like, not the, uh... Not the good answers? Yeah, not the, not the, not the, uh, impressive gameplay. But then, cool. on the other hand, if somebody seems like they're not going to have the answer, then they do, that gets applause. It's, it's tricky. Yeah, and, I mean, it just sucks. <laughs> it's, it's a real, it's a real minefield. And, and the fact that I, <laughs> that I directed Brothers was that was hurtful. Especially because they took your name off it. That must have sucked. I thought that was so odd. They said we just yeah. want to use a different name. Come on. And I thought, all right, all right. Nick Rutherford. Okay, I, 
This is like a 50 50 for me. Oh, you go to your lifeline if you're, uh, you know, no, no, I stay think in this. Hour, that's like, you know, I don't, I, I look this person in the face. I don't trust them at all. You can't, <laughs> you didn't get to see her, but like. But it, it's early, you know, like yeah, they, they're probably more likely to be able to help I you. I mean, there. I know, I know the first half, and I'm this, okay, Nightcrawler. Yeah. Ooh, I thought it might be Nightwalker. No, but it's no. Nightcrawler colon guy who crawls around at night. <laughs> So we really like full time. He's a here. baby at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. That was fucking good. I'm I sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nightcrawler was really my ace in the hole. <laughs> well, you can, go, you can go to your lifeline because also, uh, you know, by the time it gets back around to you, uh, you know, something might have been sparked in your head. So you can use oh, your yeah, lifeline. Oh, yeah, I'll go to my now. lifeline. What do you got, Lifeline? Sweet Home San Diego says Brokeback Mountain. The working title for that movie is Broke Dick Mountain. And people were like that, you know, it's, it's rough. The material's rough enough. Let's, let's go with a less offensive title. I think it's crazy because they said that they that Heath and Jake actually did hook up in that scene. It's kind of a wow. That was a real bottle dropper. <laughs> Somebody lost their beer. I don't know who they're more excited about, Jake or <laughs> poor poor uh, rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Wait, what happened? Oh, buddy, we have to talk. <laughs> What happened to that guy? I was wondering why he hasn't been in a movie in a few years. Uh, what? Nick said it. Not, I'm not going to say which Nick. Saying it. Uh, what, what was your answer? Oh, the, the lifeline said uh, broke back, back mountain. Broke back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're on to... Uh, <laughs> Whose turn is it? It's Leonard. his. Do you have another one, Leonard? Leonard. I'm... I'm I'm going to have to ask Nit for help. Okay. It's Nits. Nits. Nit. Nit. Yeah. Elizabeth Nits. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Nits. I thought it was yeah. D's Nits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop giving us weed. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Fucking animals. <laughs> What do you got, Nitz? Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy. Ah, that's good. People like it. Do you agree that that's a movie, Leonard? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Did you see Bubble Boy, Leonard? No. <laughs> Zach Galifianakis is in Bubble Boy. It's not bad. Yeah, he's, he plays a toll gate guy. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I, I liked it. <laughs> That and Baywatch, my two favorite movies. <laughs> I've got good taste. Um, I have to go. I, I mean, I'm not even going to try and act like I know anything. You're going uh, to your lifeline? Yeah. Where's my pizza boy? What's it called? No, no, that's mine. Bubble Boy was. Uh, oh, Bubble Boy was oh, yours? You had a bad lifeline, man. Oh, you should, no. you should go over there and talk to her. <laughs> Say hey. That's, that was real bubble bad timing is for mine. You. Looks like your bubble's burst. October Scott. Oh, yes! look at you yes! with the, the way that he pulled Scott. that out. <laughs> pulled that out of wow. nowhere. I had one more chance to answer something right, Miss <laughs> It really helps his brain when he scratches his ankle, I guess. He was really... It sounded like... He could not look more nonchalant. He's just like... The way he October said that... October Scott! <laughs> the way he said that was as if those words have never been spoken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's got like somebody in his ear with a IMDb outside. Yeah, that's my dad. He's out back. Oh, he still works at the steakhouse. Yeah, no, him and he he knows him and, <laughs> he's buddies with Austin Petey. <laughs> they're, they're out back right now. Oh my god, I love Austin Petey, man. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, <laughs> I, I didn't write that one down yet. Oh, October Sky. And he's not in Sweet November, so don't even try. Um, what do you got? Down there. 
yeah. Was, uh, at some point, wasn't Jake, Jake was in a superhero movie at some point, right? Well, you're not yeah. really supposed to do it that way. No, I'm just speaking. This is my process. Just, well, yeah. one person thinks he well, was I'm in gonna a go to, I'm going to go to Whiplash 10 Here in the we back. Go, Whiplash going 10. to my lifeline. Zodiac. Zodiac. Boom. That's what I was talking about, the superhero movie. The guy who uh, has got the power of the Aquarius and the Pisces. <laughs> Taurus. He unites them all. Yeah. Like intent pole blockbuster. It's one of the best. Yeah, that was one of my favorite Marvel <laughs> films. David, do you have anything? And you know I don't have anything. <laughs> any, any final words? I had a real good time with you guys today. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here, dude. We'll get your plugs in a second. <laughs> Do you ever have the experience of watching a game show at home and you say to yourself, they ask an easy question, you say, how could they not know the answer to that question? Right. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening to me right now. Yeah, and on most game shows, you don't get to filibuster while you're trying to think. That's true. <laughs> But you run, you run a more relaxed kind of I do. Program. It's a little, a little more admit. relaxed. I'm trying to remember that film you made with Dustin Hoffman. Where, oh, uh, right. Uh, where they're like, he's all, mm, mm, and Dustin Hoffman's like, meh, meh. Ah, it's driving me crazy. Yeah, it's tough. Was that called The Long Way Home? Maybe. The long Road Home? No. 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 I'm, I'm zeroing out, Doug. Well, thank you for being here. Always a treat. <laughs> really appreciate it. What do you got, Big Thunder? I've been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is tough for me to say, but obviously Jurassic Park, first and second. Was he like the voice of a raptor or something? Yeah, that was... He was all... Ah! Yeah. <laughs> he was raptor one and two. Um, all right. Uh, thank you. Thanks for playing. Nick Rutherford. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Oh, my God. Do you have another one to rub it in with, uh, Nick Rutherford? No, I... Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. No, I didn't have one. Well, wow, that's a weird guess. Uh, he was just in that thing. Um, Wait, is, what? <laughs> I mean, you win, right? I, you, I, I don't. You lasted you the longest. Me. You won, baby. I feel like I was on top, and now I'm just like really digging a hole here. No, you win. Oh, thank you guys so You're much. You're the winner. Uh, <laughs> thank you. That's a huge relief. I'm going to have yeah. a panic attack. Yeah, with, with Lashton, uh, do you like pickles? No. What about bad pickles? Do not eat that pickle. <laughs> oh, he's the guy in the audience that ate the pickle says he's hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> Can I keep the pickles? <laughs> They're the worst pickles I've ever tasted in my life. I'm going to go on record. Well, you know what you that. do? Uh, I, I, come on down to your prizes, uh, with Lashton. be good like uh like if your sports team wins dump this on the coach <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of things you could do with it you might get a deposit on that jar Let's do some plugs. Let's start with Mr. Leonard Malton. What, uh, what do you want people to know about right now? I want them to know that my daughter Jessie and I host Malton on Movies, our podcast. Yes, yes. We watch every Friday on the Nerdist Network. That's it? Well, and, and <laughs> my, uh, my movie guide, Leonard Malton's movie guide, still in print. 
Leonard Maltin's classic movie guide for people who love vintage movies and such. And my website, leonardmaltin.com. I'm on right. Twitter, I'm on Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Very nice. Nick Thune. Um, I have... Uh, I want to put this out there. Pants. Uh, pants have been sponsoring me now for about a year. Um, it's a great alternative to shorts. and um, I want to just say pants. And then also um, shirts. But uh, uh, you can also um, check out Arby's.com. And I have a podcast called Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? Uh, where we call people and ask if they know who Jason Siegel is. Uh, me is and that Brent... why you randomly said his name earlier for yeah. no reason? Yeah. Me and Brendan Walsh call people and ask if they know who Jason Siegel is. Um, my special good guys on Amazon and, and also my, my home address is two. No. I don't know. It does start with a two, though. It does. Thank you. Uh, that means a lot, you said. All right. Yeah, well, I just cool. want to know. Nick Rutherford? Uh, yeah, well, I'm here for the, the Unicorn, uh, the movie, so check out the unicornthefilm.com. Thanks. Uh, I'm hoping it does well. I hope you guys get to see it, because I'm really proud of it, and it, it stars a lot of people you know and love in it. Um, and uh, check out Dream Corp LLC on Adult Swim. That's kind of becoming a thing. Check out uh, Leonard Maltin's book and his podcasts and, like... I also forgot uh, to promote my Venmo account. Um... <laughs> People can just send me as much money as they want. Is, are the pickles uh, making you hallucinate someone giving you the stretch sign, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> David, what do you got to plug? Uh, listen to All Fantasy Everything. Uh, yes. I also have a podcast called Shining with Sam and Dave at the G is Silent on Twitter. And, you know. Cool Guy Jokes 87 on Instagram. Thanks, man. Thank you to all my guests, David Borey, Nick Rutherford, Nick Thune, and Mr. Leonard Malton. Uh, hope to see you guys Friday night. And uh, as always, <laughs> the pizza box had a copy of Mystic Pizza inside it. So I don't know what you were thinking there, but I'll, I'll just say Mystic Pizza is a shithead. And then this is quite a coincidence. We got a double up here. Ted Cruz is a shithead and Ted Cruz is a shithead. Thanks again to IFC Films' The Death of Stalin, a comedy of terrors from the creator of Veep and In the Loop. Steve Buscemi and Monty Python's Michael Palin lead an award-winning ensemble in this hilarious political satire reinterpreting the true events of Soviet secession in the 50s. Critics are already calling The Death of Stalin a masterpiece, one of the most hilarious films of the 21st century, and the political satire we need right now. The Death of Stalin, in theaters, now. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold is viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in his heart for you, cause Doug loves